All right, we're going to do a tricep burnout. So stop and give me 25. We're doing tricep reverse dips. These are so great. You are going to feel this for sure. And of course, the tricep area is right here. And incidentally, this is the area where women complain a lot. They say, I have all this loose flesh. What can I do? Well, you have to do your whole body, of course. But in actuality, if you do have a lot of muscle or firmness in the area of your you know, choice that you consider a problem, the overall look will be improved, okay, while you're um, doing the full body. So I'm not saying these 25 reps are going to be the magic, but your magic and um, you're definitely going to feel this, okay? This is another reason why I like this so much. The tricep is really a great place to, to uh, do an exercise where you get that win of most definitely feeling the muscle, the burn, okay? The after effects while you're working, okay? Versus sometimes, you know, with a, with a lower body, you know, sometimes people don't feel it exactly where they need to feel it, that kind of stuff. All right, so let's uh, talk to the setup first. All you need is an elevation. I'm going to use this desk. So notice that, notice the height, okay? It does, the higher the elevation, the easier. The lower the elevation, like a chair or bench, is going to be harder. Um, but don't worry, we will adjust our body position around the prop as usual. But I like this elevation because um, if you go too high, okay, and your, and your hands are up here instead of this is my edge, and then I would be here. If you're too high, then you're gonna end up, you know, cranking or shrugging. Um, and then if you're too low, you know, that just makes it a little bit more inaccessible for most people. So I like a desk, so choose a desk if available. Now notice that I can wrap my hands around the edge of this desk, okay? That would be ideal if you have to, uh, if you only have the ability to place your hands on the top, then you want to try to get, um, get more you know, of that palm area, even if you can't wrap around, okay? The reason is, once the hands are placed there, so the hands are on the outside of our hips, okay? So at least that wide, okay? You wrap around, you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Notice my knees are bent in order for me to reach my elevation. So this is the other position where you have the opportunity with your legs and the distance of your legs in order to scale this exercise for you. So the further you're out, the straighter your legs, the harder. The closer you come in and the more bent your knees are, the easier. Either way, it's not going to be that easy, okay? Just don't be so close that you're starting out where your bum is already touching the edge of the table. You do want to have your bum away from that edge in front, in front of your shoulder line, right? Okay. So once you're set up here, don't worry about how your toes um, come up or down, all right? Just have your heels on the floor. Make sure you take off your shoes or put on shoes depending on the surface, okay? Again, safety first, that this is sturdy and that your feet are not gonna slip, okay? All right, so once you're set up, I want you to press your heel of the hand into that edge, top surface of that edge in order to lock out the elbow, lock out the arm. That full lockout is the key for tricep extension exercises, all right? That would be your starting position, okay? Don't stick your abs out. Now, you're going to unlock the elbow. See that slight drop? You're gonna unlock the elbow, take the elbows as the lead to draw back and back until your bum touches the edge of the chair or the, the elevation and then come back to a lockout, so that was one rep, okay? <sighs> Try to place your weight or feel evenly through 
uh, both triceps, okay? So if you find that you're kind of leaning more to the right or you're feeling it more on the left, try to make sure your body is centered, okay? So what to watch out for? This sort of shrugging up is what we want to watch out for. So make sure you're tall, locked, and pressing into the top of the surface, okay? So make sure you hold that engagement and also try not to have the feet moving you, okay? Look, I could do this and my arms are straight, okay? And really not getting that tricep work. So the feet remain heels down, dead weight. You're taking the weight all into the tricep, okay? Moving the hip and your triceps are doing all the work. I'm not sure if you could benefit from seeing it from this position, but go ahead and see if you could tell how my elbows lead and I take the body with me, leading with the elbow, okay? And my hips, my legs are just dead. They're just providing the weight for the triceps to do the work. All right, this is again, one of those exercises where we're going from a intense, uh, a contraction to a, an even more intense contraction. And in fact, if your setup is right, you should feel just at the setup that you are on. So after 25 or however many you can get through, you will probably feel fairly tight here. So you can go ahead and give yourself a, you know, 15 second stretch a couple times through. Okay. And you should definitely feel that. All right, so give it a go and let's see those uh, summer arms already.